Hi, and welcome to the Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is love. Now this is Valentine's Week, and this is a time of year that everyone has their mind set on love and the expression of love to the people that they are very close to. Now love has a lot of different definitions. There's uh, the physical love, there's the love that you feel for uh, someone, a, a spouse, a, a beloved person. Uh, there's the love of community, there's uh, the brotherly love, there is uh, spiritual love, there's all kinds of different loves. Uh, most languages have several words uh, to use to describe the different types of love that there are. Now, for the purposes of today's lesson, we're going to take uh, a note from uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, who defined love as to will the good of another or to desire another to succeed. Nearly every major religion and philosophy has love as a very, very important component of its teachings and practices. From Judeo-Christian to uh, Hinduism to Buddhism to uh, Islam, all of the major religions, if you really look at them, love is a crucial component. In Judeo-Christian religion, there's a very famous saying of you should love your neighbor as yourself. Now, there's a really, really interesting one right there because we have to think for a second, how do we love ourselves? And a lot of people don't truly and fully love themselves. So the quality, the ability for you to love someone else is directly related to your ability to love yourself. If you want to have a strong commitment to bringing out the best in others, the best in the world, the best place to start is right with yourself. So what I want to do is I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to spend some time this Valentine's Day week showing your love and appreciation for the most important person in your life. Now, that's not your spouse. Don't tell them I said that. It's not your parent. It's not your significant other. It's not your children. It's you. Because if there is no you, there is no you. So take some time to express your love to yourself. Look yourself in the eye. Stand in front of a mirror and say to yourself, I love you. Can you do that? Love yourself unconditionally. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the most natural thing in the world. And by loving yourself more fully, when you can say that, when you can feel it, then you can take that feeling and you can share it with others. And it will be genuine. It will be real. It won't be fake. It will be an expression of what you feel inside about yourself that's going to radiate out and it's going to touch the lives of other people. So show some love to yourself. And I love being able to share some thoughts with you and hope that you find this informative and thought-provoking. So look forward to seeing you next week.